in the town trying to make the world a better place like we do and we got ourselves some mail from Tom Nook telling us he has a stunning blue chair I think it's probably a pretty average blue chair honestly he's he's over hyping it and that will be the downfall of his product uh, what else do we have oh we got that thing for spike we still have to give him a uh, couple things from the museum not that that was just an extra bit of inventory space I made for myself Let's see what our secret admirer of the museum has sent for us today. We get a Stego Torso. A few some bells. A T-Rex Skull. Well, we already have one, but that's worth quite a fair number of bells. And a Trilobite. Yeah, I'm not so interested in the Trilobite. But the other two are going to be worth a fair number of bells because they are bigger fossils. And because Blizzards is Mr. Picky Pants and won't accept more donations of the same existing fossils, uh, we can sell them with Nook with no problems. Which is nice, I guess. Unlike Blizzards, I will accept any donation for the channel. That is just a thing I do, so feel free. Let's see what a white ring shirt looks like. We have a... It looks like a shirt made out of, like, chain link over, like, a white background. I don't think I'd ever want to wear it, but I don't think that necessarily looks bad. It's a butterfly paper. For more fossils. <gasps> That's right, it snowed the past two days. We're going to find some joyrides today, too. That's fun. Oh, hey, we got some trees growing. We might actually be on our way to making a perfect town, slowly but surely. That's exciting. Hey, Mr. Nook, I'm here to sell some stuff that I don't need anymore. You can have some hot neon paper, a shirt, and this stuff. I'll take 11,000 bells. Alright, so... Let's see what he has in stock for us today. Let's see if anything jumps out at us. That is a fan palm. I don't want to talk to you, I want to look at the fan palm. Lady palm. That looks like a fan palm. I know, I had to carry them every now and then. They were kind of a pain in the ass. Got this little chair, that's kind of cute. This blue chair is very average looking. If you're gonna pipe up a chair, pipe up this chair. That's an iris chair, I believe. That's kind of cool. I'm seeing some seam lines in it, but... You know, I, I think that looks pretty cool. Now, who wants to bet we're gonna get a manor wall today? Uh, I'm curious, because we've had like four days in a row where they keep trying to sell us a manor wall for reasons I cannot explain. They want every house to feature a manor wall. Let's see this wall. That... I do not care for that very much at all. I like the regal furniture, and we'll probably be using a lot of it in the future, but I do not care much for that wallpaper. Subtle, but not terribly interested in that. Alright, nothing here for us today, it seems. Okay, uh, for safety we're gonna buy ourselves another axe, just in case, because it's not guaranteed that he'll have one every single day. And because the axe does break, um, it, it's useful to have a backup. We'll go put that in our basement or something. Alright, so let's get ourselves some blue cosmos. Be all judgmental of coordinators and stuff. Some white pansies. Because they're very pretty. Pansies are great. They grow in any sort of lighting condition ever. They are, like, ridiculously good plants for basically any garden. And that parasol looks like a daisy, which is a flower I've never had to interact with because they are weeds and the place I work never stocked them. Because they'd grow under tables and then people wouldn't buy them. They'd just pl pluck them and get them for free. Alright. Oh, we are 
building up our own little garden. And we got a few trees to grow here, and they've got a little bit of space between them. So that might very well be enough to put us in the good graces of the wishing well for that acre. We can hope. That said, they might not grow to full size. Now, I'm not sure if that matters all that much. There's some bells that I didn't pick up. That's peculiar. Well, let's take a quick look and see what our pal, Mr. Jerkface McWishingwell, says about it. Like, this... This tree, I'm pretty sure, counts, but it's not going to grow fully because of the fact it's too close to where a house could be, I think. Also, Olivia was hiding behind uh, Allie's house, probably scoping out her place, looking for fashion advice without having to ask her directly. Let's just be honest, that's what happened. How are things, Mr. Wishingwell? A2. Okay, well, he's not talking about A1, which makes me think that there's probably at least A1 is clear. Now, A2, we're going to have to plant some trees, that's fair, but let's just get an idea of what their grouping looks like. Oh, we got a digging spot. We got a fossil. Underwhelming. I'm still waiting on the joy rides. Alright, so th these feel pretty close, but I don't think they're going to be too much of a problem. We could probably plant one around here. The problem is the dump takes up such a huge amount of space. We can plant one here. Let's see what happens. Let's get ourselves some fruit and start planting, I guess. Oranges. Delightful. There's a good chance that there's at least one or two in this acre that are just too close together. But again, it's kind of hard to tell where too close and uh, begins and ends, really. Because, of course, we're on a grid-based system, but like I've kind of said, it's kind of hard to tell where the transitions function. Okay, those two died. Those three died. Crap. Okay, so we're probably going to have to start over here. But at least acre A1 seems to be okay. I'm going to plant one there because there's a little bit of space. Let's just get an idea of how many trees we have on this acre. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. These two are too close. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's that's not bad. Now, if I recall, it was somewhere between like nine and sixteen. So you still want to plant a few more, I think. But the real trick is finding the proper spacing for them. Like I think one right there would probably be okay, but I might plant one there instead, just to give it a little bit more room to grow, because there is such a huge amount of space. Okay, so that's three. That should probably put us in a good spot. Now, these three are dead, and I'm not sure how to add more trees to this acre, because everywhere I plant one, they just seem to die. And I think it's mainly just because it's so close to the masonry. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. I think I might chop this tree down, just because it does feel a little close. I'm probably going to regret that in the future, but we'll see what happens. I could probably plant another one, like, right around here as well, or somewhere between these two points. That said, I'm not sure how close the, uh dump itself will hinder plant growth, but I guess that's a matter for experimentation and finding out as we go. Get a few more fruits and uh, I guess we'll take them over to A4 at the very least and see what we can do there. But we may have actually finished off one acre, he didn't mention A1, and he normally goes A1, A4. So the fact he jumped to A2 may mean that we've at least completed the 
requirements for A1 with all our little mini trees. I'm hoping. Yeah, A4. Didn't work out. Let's try again, I guess. I'm hoping this is a sign that we don't need to do A1 again because that means we've got one acre cleared. And that's one thirtieth, or about 3.35% or so. Okay, well we can't plant one right next to another tree because that will end up getting us yelled at too. Let's try planting one here and see if that helps. Might try and plant one. I think we need a space between the masonry, so I'll try planting one here and see if that helps any. Because really, that's that's basically what this is. It's just experimentation and hope that uh, you find something that works out. I really hate this tree here, but we don't have enough trees here, so I can't very well cut it down. How much space do we have there? Yeah, not enough. That would be comfortable planting one there. Hmm. No, I think that's too close too. I think we're mostly working with this open space and even that's, given the proximity of the masonry, not great. Alright, well, let's try again and plant one here. May as well experiment with it and see what we can do with it. Check back tomorrow. And, uh... I guess we'll go back and check again if you get... Oh! Hey, Spike! Let's give you your thing before I forget. And Mint yells at me for forgetting. And then I have to go give the Lost and Found Department a picture book for you that you need to claim, but you never will! It's a little late, but you were stuck in an igloo and I couldn't give you things. <laughs> I'm looking at what you're wearing currently and can tell you're not a very fashionable guy. Wow, that's an ugly shirt. Seriously, you need to change, Spike. No. That just feels like a bad knockoff of my awesome... Dark polka shirt, and I don't even like the dark polka shirt very much. But it does grab the eye, and it's not horribly, horribly ugly. Alright, let's go talk to our pal, Mr. Wishing Well Magoo. And see if things are a little better. And if he says A1, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, A4. Gonna give me any other information? Nope, just A4. She's seriously spying on Allie, that's what Olivia's doing. <laughs> Silly cat. If she just wants fashion advice, she should come ask me. Alright, so... I'm hoping that all of these will work out. They seem to be pretty properly placed, as long as they take. Here's where things get a little bit ropey, though. I mean, I could try and, like, raise the uh, trees on the right side and see if I can space them a little better, but that seems like... At best, I wouldn't be accomplishing much, and at worst, I'd be in a worse position than I started. So maybe let's not do that just yet. I don't think one will grow this close, but I think this is probably one of the better places on this side of the street to plant one. And... 
many spaces. That's that'd be about half a space. I don't like that. It's still really close. I plant one here, but let's see what we can do with that. And we'll plant one more, which will definitely be overkill, but. I'm sure all of these will die anyway, so it's not going to matter much. At least if we rapid fire them, we might actually get a result of some description. Okay, let's go find the magic money rock. Someday we'll have the perfect town. And then that wishing well will feel bad for telling me how awful my town was beforehand, because I know it's awesome. You're just being all picky about it. Diggy spot. And we got a fossil. Let's write ourselves a couple of notes to our old pal, Mr. Museum. Oh, that's some pretty paper. With butterflies. Got a few more days until the raffle, and then these raffle tickets will be out of my inventory. Until the next set. We got a tall lullaboy. I think we already have one, though. Alas. Oop, there's a pill bug. I'll take that. There's Hank. We got another one. Omega Tudoid, I'm selling that one for sure. I don't think Bangle's in this acre at all. She's probably enjoying the last few days of Igloo season. Nothing there. I don't blame her. Igloo season was neat. Got a couple of dummies. Made our house look awesome. Pluck that weed. Hopefully we'll get a really cool joyride we don't have yet. Help make our house even cooler. Like that. But uh, man, the perfect village is quite an ordeal. Still, if we've already cleared one acre, that's, that's a step in the right direction. And I'm proud of that, if nothing else. We got a bug net. Hooray. Yes. I mean, ignore the fact I'm currently carrying a bug net and I'm just gonna go sell this, but yes, this is totally my bug net. Bug net, also a series of games on the Game Boy Color. Pretty interesting games, too. It's really uncanny how he knows that. But we also don't need to talk to Sahara ever again because we already have the one rug of hers we really wanted. We need to run to Wendell at some point and play the giant slot machine that is his uh, wallpapers that bring me great amounts of sadness. Because randomness when I need a thing to make a perfect set. Hey, Sahara. <gasps> Tortimer came back! I need to talk to you about a bridge to be put right south of the waterfall. That's where we need a bridge, nowhere else. Let's just take a look here. Can't really have one here because there's one here. That would be completely pointless. One here doesn't make a lot of sense, although on the south side of this, where you'd have to basically run from one over to the other side of the map to get up here, this at least gives us a bit of a shortcut. Here would probably be the next best place, just because it's not immediately next to another bridge, but still, there's really only one place where we need a bridge, or else it's just kind of pointless to have one. Oh, we 
got another pill bug. Come on. Catch the thing. I don't know how, but I think it got away somehow. Didn't get away fast enough, so I've never seen them actually run. That was interesting. Let's talk to Carrie. In sarcastic quotes, Carrie, the giant puppet clearly controlled by the smaller kangaroo. Your house is very boring, Carrie. All right. Uh, yeah, really, a bridge right here is the only place we really need one. Oh, that's Cody brain fart. No one likes you, Cody. Go away. Oh, we got another rock. That might be the magic one. But it's not. Alas. More bells for me. But we are running out of space in our inventory. I have a solution. Write more letters to Mr. Museum to save space. Hooray! Mission complete. Mint's not around either. Peculiar. She's always around. <gasps> Glowy spot. Plus 1,000 bells. Nice. Nothing around here, though. Nothing of interest. Nothing of import. Who's in the igloo today? Ah, Bangles in the igloo. Ah, I like Bangles. She's nice. And the stupid ball is it? Stupid ball fizz axe. Just go float in the pond for all I care. I don't think we're going to run into any more joyrides. Which is unfortunate. I mean, it snowed for two days straight. I'd like to get a few more. Alas. No more fun dancing robot statues. That I think were burial markers at one point. Because that's what the Hanewa were. Also the things that uh, inspired Cactar. Hey, here's the money tree. Money tree, money rock. I've seen money trees, they're not as impressive as you'd think by their name. They're really just small trees. They make a mess, though. Their leaves like to fall off a lot. Oh, hey. Let's put this fossil in the spot I marked four fossils earlier. You know, something a sensible person would do. I know it's a start for us, but still, we should try and do the whole sensible thing at some point in our lives. Alright. Hey, Olivia. Did you scout out your fashion tips from Allie? Huh. Hey, kitty. Did you need a thing? Oh, Kitty doesn't need a thing. Let's say hi to Mint. A steak head? That might be the weakest insult I've ever heard. Fine. Whatever. Actually, that's probably worth more bells than the pill bug, so I'll take that. 
Actually, it does grow here naturally after I planted a metric crap ton of apple trees. Aww. But they're best friends. They can't be angry at each other. Oh, I'm sad to see those two fight. And now they're better. Hooray! Also, she was looking at a mole cricket. That's why she was staring at her feet. Silly mint. Your feet aren't a mole cricket. You need to learn that. I still feel like there should be an extra joyride around here, but we've been pretty much everywhere. Oh, glad I came over here to clean that up, though. Yeah, I think that's all of those. This is one this sector we missed, but I don't think there is. Alas, we only got the two. So sad. So lonely in my house. That's only got like 20 of the other ones. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, that's a tell on the void right there. I like Lullaboids, they've got a pretty sound. These guys, not so much. It's the Farty Pig Joyride, no thanks. Hopefully at least one of those trees will grow tomorrow. And hopefully this acre is now complete. Hello, Mr. Nook. I've got some stuff to sell to you. I should have dropped those, uh, that spare axe in my basement while I had a chance. And so few bells. Alas. Alright, let's go drop that axe off, just to give myself a little bit more inventory space. I hope I actually have room in my basement. I really have got to remember to actually, you know, check if we've deposited a goldfish at the museum at some point. But that would require me to have something that I know I actually need to put in the museum, and that's just not happening right now. Short of a painting falling out of the sky on us, we've got everything that we can put in the museum. Nothing there or there. Come on, Mr. Bees. I very much would like to catch a Mr. Bees today. You don't even need the bells anymore. I have all the bells needed because I paid off my house. After this, well, this is basically valueless in this game. Tree, shake that tree, shake all the trees to get all the bees. And have them sting up the face of yours truly. Nothing there. Little baby trees that won't drop anything, nor will they because they're fruit trees. Hey, that one grew too, cool. Nothing there. Oh, we got another digging spot. A mega clankoid. I don't need one of those though. I'll just have to sell that to Nook, I guess. But at least it looks like we actually got one acre cleared. That's that's no small feat. Just have to do it 29 more times now. Hooray for adventure. 
And by adventure, I mean chopping down trees and hoping more will grow in their place. This acre's gonna need a bunch of trees, I think. Oh, we got some bells, and more bells. Things are looking up for this sector. It is being nice to me today. Bells, though. Oh, hey, we got a bagworm. One of the last days we can catch one, too. Close to 30,000. That's not too bad. That's everything out of this acre. On to the next. Over here. I hope not. I'd hate to run through my garden and the empty house gardens that I planted because I'm just that kind of guy. That fruit tree that won't grow anything. In terms of things that aren't fruit. Nothing there. Oop, that's a fruit tree. Let's not touch that. So this would be an awful place to find some bees. Which is why it'll be right about here where they'll show up. And then Cody Brain Fart will laugh at us because that's a total Cody Brain Fart move. Not any of those because we got bees all over our face. Nothing there. Nope. No. Nothing in this sector. I think that's an apple tree actually, so we're probably not going to get bees from that. As is this, there's no point in shaking it. Now again, because this acre is cut off, it's not an ideal place to try and duel some bees. Kind of funny though, we've already gone about a quarter of the map, but we still haven't run into any bees. They're probably all like in trees right next to each other today. I can imagine these uh, sectors that are cut in half will be a pain to perfect village. Just because. Similarly to like the uh, train station entrance, you're working with such little area to actually be able to plant stuff in because you have to deal with the cliff on both sides. Still no bees, huh? Interesting. They really are going to be right next to each other. Like right next to the post office. Which statistically shouldn't happen, but is still theoretically possible. I mean, heck, I've, I've seen bees in two trees right next to each other. Again, statistically improbable, but not impossible. Or 
our inventory a little bit more. I hear a mole cricket. He's cheering us on for greatness. somewhere you can't be nowhere because nowhere is not a place and nothing there on to the next area I didn't mean to talk to you, but how you doing, Kaisar? Uh, neither, really, but... If we're talking Jet Set Radio, I will play, but other than that, no thank you. I love Jet Set Radio. Such a good game. The only skating game I care about. Which is funny because it's not really all that much of an actual skating game. And I think that's actually probably why I like it so much. You know, that's the funny thing. I've played pretty much all those Tony Hawk games and I'm bad at and dislike every single one of them except for one, but that was just because it was so different conceptually. But I, I'm just so bad at all of them. I never really cared for any of them. Okay, let's see if we can get some distance here. And we did. Alright, we timed that perfect. Go team. So I got one more I want to try and find. That was the one where it popped out. Don't know why I shook that again. We didn't do the sector above, did we? Well, that's really just the museum. We can backtrack to it. Gonna have to chop these trees. They're too close. And once again, it's an acre chopped in half, which means that uh, planting anything, getting a good result for the perfect towns, can be interesting to say the least. But we persevere because we have renounced ourselves to doing this. There they are. Ah! Didn't cut that turn tight enough. Probably need a little bit more room too. Oh well. We got one. That was uh, that wasn't too bad. And since we're here and we have a few spots of uh, space in our inventory, let's take some fruit. Now granted, we do need fruit in order to actually make the perfect town, but we've got so many trees that will probably end up being perfectly fine if we sold a little every day too. So I think we will do just that. Because sensibility. I'm kinda surprised, it's been two months. We've run to Sahara, what, like six times at this point? We've earned a crazy red twice. We've never seen Wendell. It's kind of baffling how often we're running into Sahara, but no one else. 
Take these insects and some fruit and this terrible joyride, and I'll be on my merry little way, Mr. Nook. Alright, let's go talk to our old pal, Phyllis. Make her day by giving her some mail to watch over. Yeah, she seems trustworthy. I still don't understand steakhead. What kind of insult is that? I mean, did you mean meathead? Because that's not a great insult to begin with, but... You know, steakhead might be even lamer. I have more mail to mail, Miss Phyllis. I still have more mail to mail, Miss Phyllis. There you go. That should be it. Alright. Now I guess we will go try and work on our pattern recognition and finger speed. We'll try and get a little better punch out today. As we do every day. And maybe by the end of the year we'll actually beat the game. I would settle for getting more used to Bald Bull and uh, more consistently taking it out Piston Honda twice, but let's see what we can do. Alright, glass jaw. I, think I just noticed some part of his foot disappeared in his pose there, that was a little strange. thing, like when he swaps his guard or if it's after X number of hits. Alright, we're getting that one hit KO a little bit more consistently now. That's good. Alright, let's take on the stash. See what you got, Mr. Kaiser. Bad timing on my part. Wow. I'm gonna lose to Von Kaiser. That's embarrassing. I'm certainly gonna have to drag this into a second round, which is equally embarrassing. One. I'll just never get used to the delay. I don't know. Either way, I do not care for it. There we go. Two minutes. I'm sure I can do a lot better, though. Just have to get used to that uh, timing. GameCube controller. Alright, on to the eyebrows. Counterpunch you. And failing miserably at it, it seems. 
That was interesting. <laughs> Even now, still learning so much about Punch Out. Ah, <laughs> oh, time that way wrong. Wow. I am doing horribly. Wow, that was embarrassing. I have no words to apologize for that. At least I got to use my star punch. I was really hoping I'd get a little bit more health there, but uh power dictates that. Myself. I managed to knock him down in his second fight, and now I, I think I can take him all the time. So his earlier version wants to shut me down, and it's working. Surely you are a worthy opponent, Mr. Honda. significantly easier fight. Flamenco, let's see what you got. So if I encounter that, you should be down for the count. Done. Horses. Dodge. Punch. Dodge. Punch. Thank <laughs> you. 
punch. Done. I really think the uh, second tournament of fights is a little bit more interesting. The third one, it just reuses so many assets from previous ones, and when it doesn't, it just makes stupid hard enemies. And the first one really isn't that interesting in terms of who you fight, whereas this one's a very varied cast. and a bunch of different tricks to pull up their sleeves. I really quite like this particular chunk of the game. Dodge, punch, which is good because I'm seeing quite a lot of it. Dodge, punch. Dodge, punch. Dodge, punch. Dodge, punch. Dodge, punch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah! And I think because of that, we're not going to be able to take him out in the first round. more time. What you got? One, two, three, four, five, punch. It feels like it almost tricks you to press the button one too many times, and if you do, you get punished for it. So that means you have to play slower, and I don't like that very much. Okay. And after the sort of the dangerous fights, probably where I get immediately shut out. This one defensively, I guess. And whip it entirely. Nope. Ah. That uppercut is so scary. I mean, yeah, his bull rush will take you out instantly, but that thing is so fast that dodging is so hard. Like that. No matter what the timing is, it's just so small a window. Alright, well that's one. I mean, you're not doing too well this fight. 
done worse against him, but this is not good. Or at least countering him, you always get three, as opposed to Great Tiger, who it's kind of random. Here we go. One. There we go. Got plenty of that one, not too bad. The question is, can we do it again? see on this fight just because I know how bad it can be. There we go. Every time we manage to take him out, that gives us a step closer to consistency. Now we get to the first fight I'm really scared of, though. It's because I'm not super good on the timing on this one. But, if we do this every day, we'll get a little better each time. Alright. On to two. I think my best bet is to try and get that... knockdown, but I gotta admit that, uh... It's a lot trickier here. Gotta play this one defensively, I think. You guys seem to do things in sets of threes as well. Ugh. Every time. I just, I gotta commit to that. It's either dodge or punch. I still don't know if punching will even do anything to him in that one. But, it, it's just something I keep waffling on and I've never been able to uh, not do it. All right, KO in one minute. Okay, so this will be the second time I've beaten Honda too, but now here's where things get real scary because I'm still not entirely sure how to beat this guy. It's been so long. This guy maybe is gonna get curb stomped by, I think. I think if you get a star punch on him, you can knock him down instantly, but the problem is, to get a star punch, you have to uh, counter him, basically during his attacks, and that's a little tricky. One, two, three. I gotta admit, I think his southpaw stance also kind of messes me up a little, just because the perspective on him is a little different than the other fighters as well. Ugh. That's like the bald bull uppercut too, that's just hard to deal with. One, two, three. Okay, you can't seem to counter that. One, two, three. Well, that was scary, but we survived around with him. That's a step in the right direction. Please give me full health. <laughs> I think I need that. Ugh. I do quite like how much I can make that large Russian man fly, though. That's satisfying, because this guy's a pain in the ass. Alright. Yeah, it's that stupid duck. That's probably, like, the greatest trick he's got. Just because... 
similar to Ball the Bull, he's just so fast when he does it. One, two, three. And he does a lot of damage. And like Flamingo, you just don't have a lot of stamina. That's it. Uh, I'll get you someday. But uh, Popinski's where things get really scary for me. And then after that, it's like two more rematches that are much harder, plus like three new characters that are just complete beasts. But uh, that that'll be for another day. We're do we are getting better every day, which is you know part of why I'm doing it, I guess. And you know I am having fun, which is good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream when you go when, to know when we go live. I I'm gonna get my words out of order because talking is hard. It's not like I do that for a living or anything. Oh, wait, I do. Uh, but we are doing this every day, so it would help if you knew when we went live, although it's pretty consistent. You might also want to subscribe and check out my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff, just saying. And if you really want to make my day, hit up the show's Patreon or PayPal, chuck a few bells to keep the lights on so I can continue to do awesome stuff, such as make reviews and gameplay videos and more of this Animal Crossing nonsense. Plus, you get yourself on the Supporters Discord where we can talk about awesome things like taking out Piston Honda in one punch in a minute. I'm pretty proud of that, honestly. I I'm probably way more proud of that than I should be, but I'm pretty proud of that. Also, Steakhead? Seriously, what was up with that? We, we need to discuss Steakhead. We need people to go in and analyze exactly where Steakhead came in from and understand why it exists in the first place. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.